Thanks, Victoria, and it's a family's worst nightmare, losing their child, but the problem grows when that child has autism. The Harlingen Police Department is hoping to do something about it. This morning, we have Officer Sal Carmona and Jessica Holt to talk a little bit more about this great event. So let's start with autism and explain exactly what it is for those who don't know what, what this is. Uh, explain to us, Jessica. Autism is a neurological disorder. Um, right now, there is no known cause mm -hmm. nor a known cure for autism. The new statistics released in March are that one in every 50 children uh, school-aged children have an autism uh, spectrum disorder and when we look at the numbers for South Texas there's actually 9,000 um, children diagnosed with an autism spectrum disorder and over 16,400 adults with an autism spectrum disorder. And here in the valley, mm -hmm. we're seeing numbers as well that are pretty right. impactful. Right, those numbers are, uh, are for South Texas in general, but I mean, you know, when we talk about one in 50 school-aged children, that one in 50 school-aged children soon becomes one in 50 adults with autism. Absolutely, and this event, obviously the police department taking part in this, taking action for the community. Tell us more about that. We're gonna have uh, ourselves as well as the fire department and the AMTs. We wanna bring the, the res responders to the park, bring the kids and the family members to the park so they can get comfortable with us when they have, uh, sometimes when there's dealings with the law enforcement and the members of, that have autism. Uh, they, uh, it becomes an unsettling experience. And so we want to reach out for the community, let them know that we're here to help out with all those family members and those individuals with autism. And so it's to make that first contact a lot more pleasant. And it's for anybody in the Valley area. It's not just Harlingen mm -hmm. itself. That's why we said Harlingen area. But uh, it's, it's come out and, and talk to the first responders. And there will be many other services provided there, other organizations that provide for the mem family members. Absolutely, and you're even giving out some goodies over there. We have the bracelet for autism, yes. and then even this little uh, dog tag, and it has the name that you can provide in the back with a phone number. Tell yes. us why that's important. Uh, uh, lots of times, some of them are not fully uh, communicative. They can't communicate very well, or it, it, it's an opportunity for them to say that, here, I have autism, and we're going to have some cards out as well to help explain some of the uh, problems they might have with communication skills. Uh, these are donated by uh, uh, Valley Baptist Health Systems, and so we're going to give those out so they can have a first a contact name and number for those uh, family members. That Absolutely, have and again, this is taking place uh, this Saturday? This Saturday at uh, Long Sea Hill Park or Fair Park, and it's from 9 a.m. to 12 noon, and uh, they can call the police department if they wanted to for any uh, questions uh, relating to that event and, or 202-2722. Perfect. Thank you both so much thank for being you. with us this morning. We truly appreciate this thank great you. effort. I'm sure a lot of people are going to head out there. So thanks so much for great. being with us. Thank In the meantime, let's send it over to Victoria.